Hey friends, we are going to read the Berenstein Bears Mother's Day Blessings because today is Mother's Day. It was spring in bear country and Mother's Day was not far off. Scenes of motherhood were all around. A mother deer and her fawn, a mother bluebird and her chicks, a mother woodchuck showing her kits how to munch dandelions. Brother, sister, and honey bear were thinking about Mother's Day. They wanted to surprise Mama with something very special on her big day, but they were having trouble coming up with something special enough. So they went to Papa for help. Well, said Papa, when he heard their problem, a Sunday brunch at Bear Country Inn would be nice. That's Mama's favorite place to eat. Great, said Sister, and we can invite Grizzly Gran, too. Then it would be a double Mother's Day surprise. Good idea, said Brother. We could go right after church on Sunday morning. They could hardly wait for Mother's Day to arrive so they could surprise both Mama and Grizzly Gran. When Mother's Day morning finally dawned, the cubs dashed into Mama and Papa's room and jumped on the bed. Happy Mother's Day, they cried. We have a surprise for you, but we, won't, we don't want to tell you yet, said Sister. Oh, said Mama. We'll tell you after church, said Brother. You'll love it. Thank you, my dears, said Mama, giving them big hugs and kisses. You certainly are wonderful cubs. And you are the most wonderfulest mother in the whole wide world, said sister, hugging her back. Yes, agreed brother, making it a group hug by bringing honey in for the snuggle, too. And the most specialist, too. Special, said honey, hugging for all she was worth. Before long, the bear family was on their way to church. They saw other families going places with their moms, too. Everyone is out and about, said Mama, smiling. Mother's Day certainly is nice for us moms. Did you ever stop to think that children everywhere think their own mothers are the most special mothers of all? The cubs looked at each other. They couldn't say they had. Soon they were driving past Officer Marguerite directing traffic. Officer Marguerite has to work on Mother's Day, said Mama. But look, her children are bringing her flowers to make her Mother's Day extra special. Wow, said the cubs. It seems Dr. Gert Grizzly is working today, too, said Mama, nodding toward the hospital entrance. And so are other hospital moms. Their families are bringing them right there. Bringing them right there. Mo Mother's Day presents, cards, and all. Gee, said sister, I didn't even know Dr. Grizzly was a mother. Me neither, said brother. I just thought she was a doctor. Mama laughed. Doctors, nurses, police officers, emergency crews, and homemakers like me. We can all be mothers. Look there, said Papa, as they drove past Farmer Ben's farm. Moms can be farmers too, like Mrs. Ben. Mother's Day or no Mother's Day, farm work needs to be done every day of the year, said Mama. So Mrs. Ben is hard at work as usual, but her sons and daughters are right there with her, showing how much they love her. The next, bear family next, the bear family drove past the junkyard. It looks like the grizzly family is closing up the junkyard for Mother's Day, said Mama. There's the whole clan, two ton their father, too much their daughter, and their son, too tall, all taking their mother, Tutu, to church.
When the Bear family arrived at the chapel in the woods, they greeted friends and neighbors. Hello, Mrs. Grizzle, said the cubs to their regular babysitter. She was arm in arm with a very large bear. Brother and sister had never seen him before. Hello, cubs, said Mrs. Grizzle. Meet my son, Zed. He's visiting from out of town for Mother's Day. Pleased to meet you, growled Zed, shaking, it, shaking hands. His paws were huge. He took off his hat. Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Bear, he said to Mama. Why, thank you, Zed, said Mama, taking his other arm as they went into church. They were greeted at the door by Mrs. Brown, the preacher's wife. Her grown son and daughter were there, too, handing out programs. Mrs. Brown does so much for the church, said Mama. Sometimes I think she works harder than Preacher Brown himself. It's a, sh it's a shame she has to work on Mother's Day, said Sister. Yes, said Mama, but her children are here for her, and that's what's most important to us moms, to have our children around us. Inside the chapel, the bears went to their usual pew and sat with, with Grizzly Gran and Gramps. Happy Mother's Day, Gran, said the cubs. We have a special Mother's Day surprise for you and Mama. Is that so, Grand Cubs, said Gran, winking at Papa. She already knew all about it. Well, let's don't spoil the surprise. It'll wait until after church. And they all settled down for the service. Welcome, began Preacher Brown. Special Mother's Day blessings to all the mothers here and everywhere in Bear Country. On this day, we give thanks to God for all of you and for what each of you has done for us, for feeding and caring for us, for guiding our feet in the paths of the Lord, and for raising us to be good, strong, and healthy. As the Bible says, your mother was like a vine in your vineyard planted by the water. It was fruitful and full of branches. The cubs imagined Mama sprouting leaves and branches. It made them giggle. Hush, said Mama. They hushed. Now what's this Mother Day, Mother's Day surprise you're itching to tell me about, asked Gran after the service. We're taking you and Mama to brunch at the Bear Country Inn, said the cubs. A good thing, too, said Gran. I'm half starved. Me, too, said Mama. Better feed them quick, said Gramps, or they'll get cranky. Really, Gramps, said Gran. And they drove away through the beautiful Bear Country spring morning, and a happy Mother's Day was had by all. <laughs>